Hello, so in this video we will talk about the types of finite state machines. So as a recap, what is a finite state machine? It is a combination of a set of states, which is a finite set, a set of inputs, which is a finite set, a set of outputs, which is a finite set, a function f, which maps from a pair of states and inputs to a state, and a function g, which maps a pair of uh, state and input from to an output. And also has a starting symbol it's typically denoted by s0 now let's talk about the types of finite state machines so typically there are two types of uh, finite state machines one is called the melee machine and one is called the other is called the more machine okay so a melee machine is a machine in which the output depends on the transition between states and a more machine is one in which the output depends on the state only Okay, so if the output is a function of transitions, then it's a melee machine, and if it is a function of states, then it is a more machine. Okay, so again, we knew uh, from our previous uh, discussion, we know that the representations are two one is the state table, and one is state diagram. So now let's apply all of this and try to solve a problem in which we have. To define a design a finite state machine that delays an input string by two time units. For example, if we have an input x0, x1 up to xn, the output is 0, 0, then x0, x1 up to xn. So the first two are 0, zeros, and the next we start repeating the one which was come which came two time units earlier. Okay, and then in the end we have to see whether it is a more machine or a melee machine. Okay, so let's see we have to have a starting state okay we call it s0 then we have to have a state four states which tells us which were the previous two symbols so let's say s1 corresponds to 0 0 s2 corresponds to 0 1 s3 corresponds to 1 0 and s4 it corresponds to 1 1 okay so if i'm at s0 and i get a 0 then i get go to s1 because s1 corresponds to 0 0 and if I am at s0 and the input comes at 0 then the output is 0 if I am at s0 and input of 1 comes then I go to s2 and my output is still 0 okay and now if I am at s1 and input of 0 comes then it means the previous two symbols so this first one will go away shift left it will be sh you know flushed out to the left and i get zero and this zero so i should get again s1 and my output should be this previous symbol which was flushed out so this is zero here and if an input of one comes then i should go to zero one which is s2 and my output should be again zero here if I am at S2 and 0 comes, then I should go to 1, 0, which is S3, and my output should be 0. And if I am at S2 and 1 comes, then I should go to 1, 1, which is S4, and my output should again be 0. For S3, if and 0 comes, then this will be flushed out. Should, should I go to S1, which is 0, 0? and my output should be 1 because this is what we flush out and if a output input of 1 comes then i should go to 0 1 which is s2 which is s2 which is s2 so then my output is again 1 if i am at s4 and output of input of 0 comes then this one will be flushed out then i am i get to 1 0 which is s3 and my output is 1 and if uh, if an input of 1 comes then I have s4 and my output is 1 okay now you know that from this table that the output depends on output just depends on the state so if this s1 is there the output is 0 no matter what the input is if I, if I am at s2 output is 0 no matter what is the input and similarly s3 and s4 corresponds to the output of 1 so this state table corresponds to a Moore machine. Okay. 
Also, the question is, can we find a state diagram for this or not? We can, for sure, we can find it. So we have S0 here. So this is input of 0, this is input of 1. So 0, I go to S1. 1, I go to S2. And output of 0 both ways. For S1, I go, I stay at S1 at for an input of 0 and I go to S2 for an input of 1 and again the output is 0 both cases. For S2, I go to S3 for an input of 0 and I go to S4 for an input of uh, input of what? Input of 1. And my output is again 0 both ways. For S3, it is S1 and S2. So S1 for 0, S2 for 1. So 0 and 1. And output is 1 both ways. For S4, it's S3 for 0. And S4 for 1. So 0, 1 and 1, 1. Okay. So this is the state diagram for this kind of a state table here. So as a recap, we have just, you know, um, implemented our ideas of finite state machine to actually solve a, you know, uh, solve a problem. And we have also seen whether, uh, uh, what types of finite machines are there and how can we classify if a specific machine is a mealy machine or a more machine. So hope it was easy to understand and thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video.